stayed at this place as the Everglades, oh, yes. open to the general public, including people like me. Yes, it was open to the general public, bed and breakfast um, uh, hotel, uh, but we've used it for our clients, the students, for, oh, I suppose the last 10 to 12 years, but increasingly of late. So we've noticed how important it is for people to have a, a cosy, friendly hotel close to the school because yeah. it's just just across the road. Yeah. So easy to reach. And we haven't actually hit the headline point, which is that this is now yours. It is, it and is. It's part and, of uh, Talking International School. It is. And of course, we're going to rename it. So we're going to call it the Club TIS Hotel because it's not going to be just a hotel. It's going to be, ah, it's going to be like a club somewhere for our clients, our students to stay, but also to come over for lunch, to be able to sit out here, have a cup of tea or coffee, generally meet up and enjoy themselves and, and enjoy the wonderful view that we have here too. Yes, absolutely. The hotel was so popular in the past that when the owners decided to retire, it was just um, a God-given opportunity for us. And, yeah. and we believe that this really enhances the range of accommodation that we have to offer at the school. We now have residential accommodation for younger people. Yes. We have this for perhaps the more mature people. We have three categories of host family. Yes. And we have our flat chairs and family apartments yes. as well. This is something different. This is something special. Yes. This will be international and it will be a place where you'll feel at home but where you can have your own privacy as well. Yes. We've got host family accommodation, three categories. So starting with the simple but comfortable host family. Then we have those who can offer private bathroom. And then we've got what we call the superior, although really it's like saying five-star deluxe. Right. Those are host families who have super big houses, right. great facilities, of course ensuite bedrooms, yeah. and, and offer a very high standard of cuisine as well, right. Right. of English kitchen, yeah. I should say. Right. Um, the apartments we added the last two to three years, those have been very popular. Once again, it gives people more freedom. Not everybody feels comfortable in a host family. Um, and although we believe that we have some of the best host families in Britain and a very experienced accommodation manager, uh, the fact is that I believe that today we have to have a wide range for people. We, we expect choice these days. Right, we do. And we expect yep. good standards. It's yes. not as it was well, nearly 30 years ago when I started, where people thought it was glamorous to have a private bathroom. Yeah. Today, yeah. that's what we expect as a standard. Yes. That's what we want to be able to offer. Right. Mm. However, this was a new departure. Yes. Um, not only have we got this lovely dining room that uh, we've just walked through, yeah. and this terrace for the yeah. evenings or for lunch times, yeah. uh, we also have a study room facility here as well right. so that um, our students can use their bedrooms of course to study in but um, on the ground floor here is an area with books, a small library, uh, a study table that several people can sit at, there's a computer in there, a guest computer, the hotel has Wi-Fi throughout mm. so all the facilities that you would expect mm. as a business person are available and easily accessible.